Okey, uh, kita sambung bahagian kedua chapter 5 video ni. Uh, bila lihat ataupun tonton video ini secara berhati-hati uh, kerana uh, banyak uh, input yang uh, kita boleh dapat daripada video ni especially untuk chapter 5. Chapter 5 ni akan masuk akan masuk test ni. Eh? So kena tengok video ni dan fahamkan kemudian buat latihan kemudian juga uh, tengok slide uh, fahamkan juga buat latihan dan nanti bila ada test uh, mudah okay, kita sambung bahagian kedua daripada bahagian pertama hari tu kita uh, sudah habis uh, pada uh, K-Maps ni untuk grouping, grouping K-Maps kan? make sure that you uh, you understand how to group okay if you wrongly group the the ones then you will not get the uh, simplified okay simplified uh, expression so I do do uh, more exercise so that you are um, you are um, you have the skill yeah, right Into, Okay, so let's continue. Next uh, uh, slide. Mm, all right, so here. Mapping directly from a truth table. From a truth table. Before this, uh, in, in part one, In part one, hmm, you, you are transfer from Boolean expression to truth table. But now, uh, sorry, to k maps. But now, if you are given k uh, truth table, you can transfer also to k maps. Hmm. Okay, how to do that? This is uh, the the basic is same. Look at the output. One, 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 and one. So the input is A, B, C. So you draw the K map A, B, C. So we have zero, zero, until one, one, one. So you are familiar with all the all the formatting of uh, uh, ini K map sih kan zero, 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 one. Ini you have to memerahkan ni ingat ok so kos, ini kosong 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 kan kosong 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 ni duduk di sel ni so letak satu ni transfer satu ni satu kosong kosong duduk kat mana satu kosong kosong here so transfer tu so and so so finally you get the uh, team max with the order logic from first table Ha, sebelum ni daripada sini sekarang daripada truth table find the simplified expression in set training find the simplified so you look kan satu dan kan two and three three loop loop of one Okay, next is a don't care, don't care. Don't care ni is something it is not mentioned in in the in the question. Okay, so you can I choose either one or uh, zero kan. Kalau tak ada benda tu. The output is not is not stated. So it can be 
It can be either zero or one lah. So, we put don't care. Don't care ni kita letak pangka. Don't care ni kita boleh pilih kosong ataupun satu. Macam mana nak pilih? Uh, kalau kita nak get a, a simplified uh, expression, kita mungkin pilih kosong ataupun mungkin pilih satu berdasarkan kepada loop kan. Uh, for, for, for this example, this one, Ha, ni kan. Ha, ni. X ni don't care. Ha, X ni adalah don't care. Dia ambil daripada uh, table lah daripada boolean expression don't care. So X ni can be 0 or 1 but in this case in order to get the simplified boolean expression X tu must be hendaklah dipilih satu. Jangan pilih kosong. Kalau kosong dia tak akan dapat Simplified kan, dia takkan dapat loop yang loop, The greatest loop ni Lapan macam tu ha, That's the idea of don't care So please Please, please, please remember that Okay Okay, let's see uh, This this uh, this is the BCD lah Example for BCD eh. Roof table for BCD Macam ni kan, sebab BCD ni Dia, dia nombor BCD ni, kalau if you go and refer to the chapter 2 tu 0 to 9 saja kan BCD. Selepas daripada 9 ni dia tak ada dah. Kan dia tak ada 10. Kan dia hanya nombor dia 0 hingga 9. Decimal dia kan. Tapi what happen if input dia tu 10, 1010. Apa output dia? Ha, macam tu. So so they will never occur dia tak akan dia tak akan keluar nombor tu. Kan? Dia tak akan keluar nombor. So we put don't care about macam tu. So kita plotlah. Tadi kita dah belajar tadi. Plotkan don't care ni letak. So it, kalau kita without don't care kita akan dapat macam ni. With don't care kita akan dapat lebih simplified kan. A plus so that's why we have to, of course, the don't care. It can be either zero or one. But for the next, uh, for the next step of solution, you have to choose either zero or one. Perhaps that the final boolean expression is uh, simplified. Uh, so in this case. Kita pilih satu lah, then we get the simplified uh, expression. Okay. Next is a kind of map simplification of POS expression. Just now as SOP, SOP ni macam ni lah. Macam ni, A, B, C, ni kan SOP. Ni. This is SOP. This is SOP. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, macam ni sum of product. Tapi akan ada expression dalam bentuk product of sum. Macam mana nak buat? Mana nak buat? Product of sum. Uh, refer balik pada chapter 3 macam mana bentuk expression product of sum. So uh, we have to know how to use a kind of map in to simplify uh, POS. Step 1. Determine binary value of each sum term in the standard POS expression, this is the binary value that makes the term equal to zero. As each term is evaluated, place a zero on the k-map on the corresponding cell. Nah, dia terbalik, eh, tengok tu. Dia terbalik. Semuanya jadi terbalik. Dia, dia agak complicated sikit lah sebab uh, normally kita guna SOP but now we are going to use POS. Dan dia jadi terbalik dah. Semua jadi uh, uh, terbalik daripada SOP. Kita tengok. A plus B plus C. Kosong, uh, kosong, kosong kat sini. Kalau sebelum ni kita letak satu but now we put zero. Macam ni kan. Ni dekat mana? A plus B bar C. A. Uh, ni dia jadi terbalik semua. Yang satu ni dia jadi bar pula. 
So kosong ni uh, cos, uh, kalau SOP kita letak satu but for this one we put zero. Ha. Uh, jadi pening sikitlah kan. Eh? Hmm. Map the following standard POS expression on a key map. Ha. Uh, cuba buat yang ni. Ni SOP ni semua masukkan dalam key map. So ini cara. Ini step dia. Satu jadi kosong, kosong jadi satu. Semua dah jadi. Uh, dah jadi balik daripada SOP. Use kind of, kind of map to minimize the following standard POS expression. Uh, macam tu. Dia loop tetap sama tapi the way that we we tu tu dia, dia jadi plus kat sini kan. Sebab dia POS standard kan. For example this one. This, this is yang berubah. Uh, yang ni tak berubah satu-satu ni kan. Dia tak berubah. So B bar. Kalau SOP tu B dan C kat sini. C. Bukan C bar, C. So B bar plus C. Agak-agak confused eh. Tapi if you can understand SOP, so this one it, you you have to uh, look at look at the the step very careful then then you can understand uh, the difference between SOP and QA. Okay. Okay, this is another example. You can do the simplification of QS by using KMAP. Right? Okay. Remember, a simplified Boolean equation use fewer gates possible to implement a given expression. Kan, kalau uh, kalau kita Uh, simplify tu, kita akan guna gate yang lebih sedikit lah compare dengan uh, kalau kita tak simplify right next is a representation of logic gates logic gates yang kita belajar ni, kita boleh uh, kita boleh represent dia dia dalam logic gate yang lain ya, macam tu. contohnya kita ada this circuit Kan? This is the circuit Boolean expression of Z Terus table Kimet Kimet kan? Remember example 2 From the chapter 4 We start at the step 3 because the simplification Using Boolean algebra give Two different answers Now let's do the simplification by using Kmap. Okay, so ni dia refer pada example tu in the previous chapter and previous slide. Then simplification kita try guna Kmap. So Z equals to ini dia punya uh, boolean uh, expression dia 1, 2, 3, 4. So you transfer to the Kmap. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then make loop. Then loop, loop, loop. Finally you get A, B bar D plus A bar C D plus B C D. So that is the final answer of simplification. And then when you draw the circuit based on Boolean expression, you can draw the circuit. Alright. Uh, if you look at here, and gate, or gate, and gate, or gate, and gate. Uh, so draw the circuit. So that's end of the chapter 5 part 2. Uh, if you still don't understand, uh, uh, try to get the slide, go and find the reference book and also uh, make a group discussion okay and if you still don't understand then come back to me I will help you to explain uh, individual individually okay that's all uh, for this time uh, we will see see you uh, on the next um, on the next uh, video thank you very much bye bye